There's some very interesting family studies that also are going to, to be uh, revealing about what kind of genetic components might be present. And this, uh, these data that I will show you just now are really compiled from many different studies. There are multiple studies. And so uh, these have been confirmed uh, through various studies. What we're going to do here is to look at the probability or the concordance, the percent concordance between siblings. If you have one gay sibling, how likely are you to have a second gay sibling? If you look at non-twin brothers and you have one brother who is gay, you have about a 10 to 20 percent chance that the second brother is going to be gay. If you look at a gay sister or a gay brother and ask if their sibling is gay, then it's about the same range in the 10 to 15 percent range. If you look at non-twin sisters, one's gay, what's the percent concordance? About the same range. So this is for simple for uh, uh, fraternal relationships, sibling relationships. What happens when you look at twins? Twins, of course, monozygotic twins, are genetically the same. And that's what these studies uh, were using, all monozygotic twin pairs. So if one twin, one brother or one sister twin is gay, then the chances of the second twin being gay are up to between uh, 35 and 50 percent, much higher, much higher than, than fraternal sibs. So this would indicate that there is a genetic component uh, that is important. Another thing that you may have heard about, this was actually in the newspaper several months ago, because there were some new studies out that confirmed older studies, and that was birth order. The observation is that if you ask a group of straight men how many per, what percent of them have older brothers, and we're not talking about gay or straight brothers, we're just talking about how many of you have older brothers. About one to four percent of men will have older brothers. If you have the same number of gay men and you ask them that question, about 14 to 15 percent of them will have older brothers. This is the observation that's been made many times over. It's statistically significant. This is the accumulation of 14 different studies, so it is well confirmed. The effect is even larger if you have effeminate gay men in your population that you are studying. So what's going on here? One question that came up right away is, well, if there are older brothers, that means mother is older. Maybe it has something to do with the age of the mother. Well, studies then took that into consideration, controlled for parental age, and found that the same thing still is evident. So it's not the age of the mother. Interestingly, there's no association with gay men and older sisters. It's just older brothers. And there are absolutely no effects that have been found in lesbians. So there's something different going on in this characteristic with gay men and gay women. We don't have an answer to this question yet. We're still pondering that. We're still trying to figure out what questions to ask about that and how to address them. <laughs>